We now return to Let's Play Battletech. We're hurting just a little bit, but uh, I think it's time to go. First of all, we need to visit the Mech Warriors and get them kind of leveled up. Um, sure, we'll just keep going with guts for you. For now, um, one thing I did off camera, and you need way more gun rate, uh, is go through and, and repair all of my mechs. I didn't really do anything except change one of my quick draw loadouts. I've got a standard quick draw, but then the other will increase your piloting. Uh, my other quick draw was a little bit more heavily armored. Um, I basically swapped its loadout to include a little bit more um, let's go guts. Training confirmed. Uh, 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 well, I, I basically swapped it out to a PPC and an LRM-10 and a medium laser. And uh, so we're going to attempt to Mech see what complete. I can do with that. Yes, um, I've got everything pretty much lined up in such a way that Training complete. Um, we will have three of my heavies by the time we... Well, a little bit after, uh, actually. We're not going to have a fourth, unfortunately. Um, all my stuff is going to take days and days and days. Uh, and I don't really want to wait that long. I could get this Wolverine, but I do happen to have my... Hunchback. Now that's pretty weak, but as far as armor goes and, and toughness, the Hunchback is, I believe, uh, something I want to have along. So, anyway, uh, we're moving on, and this is not how you move on. Uh, here we go. So, between the two, uh, this, is, this is actually not a story mission. This is just a mission. Um, it's unfortunate because this seems to me like it's going to be a little bit too difficult. Um, well, both of them are in Mech Doer. This has a lot of salvage, and I'm willing to bet there's going to be one assault in this. There's no way I can take that on with only three heavies, and especially since my heavies are not that great. If I had another Thunderbolt instead of a Quick Draw, I'd feel more comfortable, but the Quick Draws are effectively made of paper. Um, anyway, we're going to go do this one. Stealing is a form of flattery. We've long suspected that there is a Directorate Research Station hidden in the Mechdur system, and we've finally gotten wind of its possible location. We need a few brave and plausibly deniable mercenaries to secure the location for a dropship extraction of any valuable scientific personnel. Commander, plausible deniability is our specialty, and this sounds like a shadow run to me. Anyway, we're going to ne negotiate that for, uh... Come on. For a little bit of money. We we also need salvage, too, if we're going to go up against heavies, because now I need to be able to create at least one more. I'd either like a Thunderbolt. The dragons, I feel like I'm not using the dragons properly. Um, I'd, I'd want another Thunderbolt, basically. I think I probably missed my opportunity. That mission that gave me three, um, I feel probably would have been good. But anyway, clearly we're heading into assaults now anyway, so we need to upgrade again. Um, so... For the sake of the Let's Play, however, I'm going to try and speed this along because we've been doing this for nearly two months. And it feels like we're dragging our feet here. Um, that is hampering my ability to effectively fight these battles. And when we find a place, too, I do want to pick up a couple more mech warriors. Beta pod is completed. Now... Are we ready for this? That's a lot of money to drop right now. And that adds a ton, ton, to my monthly maintenance cost. But that one more medical point, I don't know. And that, I, since we're so far down, and since I anticipate losing even more people fre more frequently, I think we kind of need to do this. So, uh, this expanded field hospital allows for two med techs to work side by side, meaning more capacity to treat patients. The cost includes the salary of an additional skilled med tech to treat your injured warriors. Commander, the existing me med bay is able to keep up, but just barely. Nobody's dying for lack of treatment, but our medics are overworked. Betapod has an entire additional medical bay, unused and waiting to be renovated and powered up back up. Roger we'll go that, do it. I'll get the crew moving. Pricey, pricey. Um, oh, shit. I didn't look at that. It's going to be done in time for the report, so it'll go into my finances. Uh, well, kind of screwed it up there, but anyway... 
once we hit that half mil mark, which we're effectively there anyway, um, I think it's going to be harder and harder to maintain what we're doing just because I'm going to be bleeding money. So I might just have to start actually spending my own money just going around star systems, seeing what I can pick up. Maybe those will be less... Uh, blaring klaxons interrupt an otherwise quiet morning routine as several fast-moving ships appear, pacing the Argo. Darius broadcasts their hail to the bridge. You're flying through our space, strangers. It's awfully dangerous out here. Just awful, especially for a ragged-looking ship like the Argo, is it? Tell you what, we'll provide you with safe passage, for a price, of course. While you consider your options, Samiri pipes up. Commander, if you can buy me some time, I could do a rapid fire of the leopard. Fire up of the leopard. That'll teach them not to mess with us. Let's do Liked by the Restoration. Broadcast for help from the system authorities. Why do I feel like they're going to arrive too late? <sighs> God. Darius sends an SOS, and you set about buying time until help arrives. Before long, the pirate captain informs you she's having a bad day and fires a few glancing laser blasts off the side of the Argo to express her displeasure. The whole ship groans as emergency systems activate. Just then, several in interceptors arrive on the scene, bearing the colors of a local authorities. With a curse, the enemy captain gives the order to retreat. Unfortunately, it's too late for Glitch, who is caught on the wrong side of a blast door and ends up in the med bay. She was already in the med bay. No, not the mech bay. God damn it. So how many injury, injuries does that show her to have now? It doesn't actually show me. It probably just increased her amount of time out. Because she probably was going to be ready. Fuck. So we've got Lone Wolf, Medusa, yes. God damn it. So we're not going to have anyone ready... By the time we... Oh, that sucks. Because she was up here. We would have had enough ready to be there by the time we got to the... All we had to do then was wait two days. Now we're going to have to effectively wait forever unless we buy someone. Which we're going to have to do. We're going to have to hire someone when we get there. That fucking sucks. Because it, they're going to be shit. We arrived at Mechdur. Yeah, we're not totally ready for that just yet. That's not where you go. Hiring Hall. Show me something good. Okay. Ballistic is not too bad. All things considered. Renegade uh, actually has some shit. But in the wrong places. She is crap at gunnery. What the hell would you use this for? A scout? Called shot opportunities, but shit gunnery. And then piloting. So... She'd be good in a mech, basically a scout. Just ping something off, especially with the sensor lock and the evasive movement. Yeah, she's a scout pilot. Fuck that. Tactician, but no. Uh, ballistic, on the other hand, is a lot more in line with what I want. Gunnery and guts. Could do better there, but... I mean... And she's only got three injuries, though. Which uh, is not so good, but... Given that we are very limited in uh, what we can do, I guess we'll be hiring you. New mech warriors available. Okay, welcome aboard. So, uh, we've got to wait two days, right? Two days for the quick draw, and then we'll have enough. Okay. So now we've got enough. Which quick draw is it, though? I really need to separate these. You can name them. I believe it's my standard. It looks like it's the standard. Let's get in there and just see. Uh, heat sinks, LRM, yeah, SRMs. Okay, I lowered the SRMs for what, though? A little bit more armor? 55, 75. Yeah, I gave myself a bit more armor. So I took out the SRMs for that. 
maybe I should just go standard loadout, although that makes it very weak. And that was the problem with the quick draws, that it was very weak, and that's why I did that, so I could give myself heavier armor. Um, yeah, because anticipating that we could use that SRM, I mean, that's the thing about the quick draw. It's got good movement, because that's kind of its role. It's meant to get in there and then get out, I feel, but it's just made of too much paper, so we're not going to do that. You can go back now. Thank you. Okay, so we do have the Orion. We do have the Quick Draw. We've got the Thunderbolt. I guess we'll be bringing the Hunchback. Now, this sounds like it will be a hit and run. This is, uh, we're, we're kidnapping someone, right? So we'll be doing. We'll be doing something with that. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt had a little bit of everything. Quick draw, a little bit of everything. Hunchback is where we really need the guts. So, uh, in that case, I almost feel like I want to put Behemoth in there, just because. Although, with her stand and fire bonuses... See, that 10 needs to be close. Medium... She doesn't really have the SR or LRM fifteen though. Yeah, I got I don't know. Breaching shot though, with a single weapon. See, I'm more likely to do that with the Orion, just because of that AC ten than I am. And with the LRM fifteen, yeah, that's where he's actually good at. Uh, Lone Wolf, I mean, unfortunately, none of these guys are that uh, that good. So Ballistic can go in here because you got the next highest guts, and I guess Lone Wolf will head out inside of the Quick Draw. Um, we've only got one Sensor Lock, which is not good for me. And suddenly we find ourselves at a 3.5 difficulty. I don't understand that because I'm pretty sure it said it was 3 when we first arrived. So, or when we first chose the mission, I know he's just going to be constantly injured in this damn thing, because that's what always happens. It's kind of a cursed mech. I mean, I got it by headshotting it, so it just makes sense, I suppose, to have him in there. I don't know. Well, okay. Let's, uh, let's give this a shot, I suppose. Given that it's a hit-and-run mission, I'm not sure if I want to try and fight or run away. Uh, gonna have to pause here. Okay. Uh, let's go and hope for the best. We're here to capture the Directorate Research Station. Let's get our forces into position where we can better observe the enemy movements and get eyes on the facility. Eliminate opposition and take control of the territory, Commander. Okie doke. Well, my, uh, God. Gotta pause. Hold on. All right. If we can avoid further interruptions, let's uh, let's get going here. Actually, Medusa is probably my best bet at a scout, but is not very. Ooh, hey, we could head to the road and probably come up this way. Now nah, that'd be good. Uh, where are we at in the boundaries of the map? Map goes way out here. I wonder where the evac point is going to be. I kind of want to try a sneaky hit and run here. I wish to avoid, as much as possible, taking a lot of injuries and or damage just because I am so thinned out at the moment with my stuff. Um, I guess I can probably jump down there. I didn't actually see that we are, in fact, not going down the little gully, but uh, well, it's a good thing we're all jump capable here, except the Orion who is not. Damn it, I forgot. In fact, I can't get down there at all. That's a little lame. Well, shit. Okay. 
I appear to not be able to get down there at all. Because I don't have enough gents. That's a little bit lame. Can you get... Yes, okay. Engaging jump jets. Apparently you need five jump jets to be able to do this. So where else could I get down from? Maybe the edge there? I don't know. So be... Let fucking go. Jesus. Okay. Still can't get down there. Okay, I can get down there now. But maybe I should be running alongside because, uh... Just in case. Oh boy, look at that. We can absolutely go down a road real fast. In fact, if we have to run back, and I hope we do, maybe taking a road is the way to go. I do not. Again, you can't go down a gully for some some crazy reason. What's your jets going? Uh, no. That quick draw definitely has mobility on its side. Which is what it's stated before. Okay. I think this time we're gonna go with these guys going first, because I wanna wanna get up here as much as possible. Okay, we'll get kind of pull it ourselves over here. Because we don't want to trigger anything. Enemy contact. Well, shit. Now if we can get out of the cinematics. Okay. Okay. Well, looks like we're at the edge of the map here. So let's... Oh, nope. For, for some reason, it's you. And it's because we're going to reserve. Holding action, Commander. So that can't hit me. Orders. So let's actually bring up the rear first. And you are suffering for that. Let's go ahead and just jump. Get up here. Oh. Alright, you should have a good view of the research facility now. A very good one. In fact, so good, now I've seen all the goddamn turrets. Be careful of additional forces. Reports are they have additional units in the area that are rallying at the base. Expect contact. Commander, a word of warning. We have reports this base may have gun emplacements for point defense. You don't say. Turrets, boss. Just keep an eye out in case they're online. Oh, they are. Jeez, that took a little bit, a little bit out of me, didn't it? Grief. Okay, so we can at least get up close, close enough, hopefully, that we don't actually reveal it, because then that would imply that it could see me enough to target me. So we'll probably all stand together on one turn. That might be a little bit too close. I don't know, the minute they can see me, I'm doomed. So I don't want to get too far ahead. That looks good. Next turn we'll all be able to move in and do our business. And that's for you. I think we'll pull back just a little bit. Watch, that one thing is going to be the distance I need on my next movement. Staying in the forest would be nice, too. It helps a lot. Ah, shit. Did it see me? Did it what? Okay, we'll reserve so we all tack together. Okay. Let's, uh... Boy, I'd really hate to move that black... Or that quick draw up into position to die, but, uh... Hopefully the evasion will help, although I could just as easily get up here. But this is optimum range for my weaponry, which I would actually kind of prefer. Although maybe we can get up in here and kind of get the best of both worlds in a way. See, this allows me to fire all my weapons, but it's not optimum range for everything. This is... So we'll just hope the evasion helps me against this stuff. Heavy sniper turret. Heavy shredder turret. With flamers. I don't think we're in range of the flamers, but it's got an AC-20, and that's going to hurt like a mother. 
This has two PPCs, however. This needs to go. It's got, uh, effectively 230 damage. Uh, which we're not going to be anywhere near. So, we've got to... We've got to take these down in a hurry. Which, uh, we may or may not be able to do. Okay, you're going to have to get a little bit closer than that. We might have to do a hop forward, hop back deal. But we're gonna focus down one of these. Okay, that's good. Can we get that shredder turret? We can move forward just a little bit. I'm not sure I like that. May as well stay here. I see 10 on it. That's good. Now, as for you, not anywhere near. That actually sucks a lot. So we'll get in behind here. And hope for the best. Okay. Did help. Good. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Damage We're already going to overheat, though. That worried me. I saw all three of those. I hear ya. Is it because I reserved, or... See, I still can't get in range. My mediums are no good here. That actually really sucks. I can't do anything with this mech. She does not have the mobility. If Skyros was here, he would be able to do something with this. But I think we can get down here, so maybe we'll have to come in that way. Those turrets, though, are definitely anti-heavy turrets, which means that they are far more capable of uh, dealing damage to me than I am of dealing damage to them. This gives me two weapons. This gives me three weapons. We're going to risk an overheat here. Optimum range for that. Gotcha. Okay. That turret is gone. Aye, aye. I don't know why we'd want to move down here, to be honest. We're completely exposed this way, too. Let's continue going this way. Roger. I'm still not in forest. I should have moved one behind, but... I want to get these guys all up together. Because we need at least one turn to cool down now. And I think maybe... Maybe this is the chance to, to do it. Actually, if I just brace here... Although, should I do that? We're still out of... Technically, we're out of range of those. Or out of visual uh, for those. Right? So... Let's just brace now. Cool down. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. And here we go. Okay, so this is where this could be problematic for me, especially for you. You have no mobility. So this worries me a lot, actually. I don't know if I can get in there, get out. That thunderbolt maybe will do, will, will do a movement and then run. Can I have my turn? Apparently they're coming for me. Okay, Behemoth, it's time to do... Do this. I sh really shouldn't. I should clamp down here. We're going to use this to my advantage. We're going to sit still for a turn. Good. Okay. Okay. Unknown mech. Unknown mech. We're going to sit. Kill some heat. Now... Do we not occupy this? Do we, do we not occupy this? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Do we not occupy this? Do we have to go through? I think maybe everyone's got to go through their thing. Maybe that's what the deal is. 
So if we get up close, I can only do long range anyway, no matter what. So at least if I stay out of range here, I can hit on it. I don't know that I need to, though. That's kind of what, what gets me. So maybe I'm better off doing, like, just sitting still in a sensor lock. Because I don't necessarily want to get too close. I mean, we, we have the ability to run back here and vacate, but I have a feeling the liftoff point is going to be back up here. In which case, we have to guard this little ridge. Um, my quick draw... God, okay. We'll just move forward a little bit more. Because we may need to... Can I... Well, this has worked before. Come on now. Well, why can I do it that on that one, but I can't do a sensor lock on this one? I can see them. I should be able... Okay, well, fine. Fuck you, then. And Medusa... Okay, that came from a... Came from a mech over there, then. Have we not occupied this? It's still Medusa's turn. Which makes me nervous, because he's got nothing. This is blocked. So we'll move in here, but... I feel like we're just gonna have to turn right around. Where are you going? Okay. So. We've occupied. Excellent. Objective complete. Now what? Destroy the directorate re reinforcements. We ha we ha we we have to. What can I do for you? Oh, bullshit. All right, we're going to get down here and we're going to fight in the trenches. Now they're going to probably come up the ridge. Maybe I should actually be getting back in here. So we will vacate from here, although I think turrets can hit across the map. I probably should have had her sit tight with everyone else. Come on, come on, come on. What we, what we need to do with these guys is hit them from behind. Quick draw, okay. Behemoth, get the hell out of here. lose visual on that, but I do not want to, do not want to engage any of this stuff just yet. Give me my fucking turn! Yep. Alright, you need to get back here, because we're going to have to start taking this from the high ground, come along this ridge. Maybe if I can pull them through here, then they'll be standing behind all those buildings. I don't know, maybe I should take a cue from the last mission and just hide amongst all the buildings. As for Lone Wolf, do a jump. We can jump up to this ridge. Alright. Now, let me have a sensor lock of this. No? That is because it's out of my... I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm pretty sure I was able to use that before. Okay. As for you, yes, you need to get out. Uh -huh. The hunchback is going to unfortunately have to be, because it's going to be a target immediately for everything, it's going to either have to be a scout for me, or I'm going to have to utilize her for for trying to sneak in behind whilst the heavies work. Okay. We want to pull them out of the range of those turrets, though. That is very much a thing. So, how about you dance right here? Jumping. Destroying the defensive turrets would give me a little bit of a bonus. Fuck. Additional enemies detected. Where, where the, where the shit did that come from? It must have jumped. Good to go. Okay, this is not good. Perhaps we need to employ my pull behind tactics.
God, that little pause bothers the fuck out of me. It's unnecessary. Okay, we can't do that. So we're definitely going to have to do something like this. Okay, can I at least now get a sensor lock? Because it's within my... There it is. What is it? Sensor lock Dragon? Dragon. Okay. Can reserve you. And here we go. The battle for the ridge. Unfortunately, oh, that's the one we probably want to pick off. If we can pull back, except we can't really pull back, we're going to have to run circles around it. This bothers me. This bothers me a lot. I feel like there's going to be another one. If we can get to this ridge in a hurry, whilst they try and come up here, I don't know. This is too much firepower already. There's a quick draw. Is that the quick draw? That must be the quick draw. It's moving too damn fast. And they're trying to come up here and flank me, which is no good. I could try and pull back here to wipe this out before they get to me around this ridge. Run down the road, maybe. Uh, that's risky. But we have to get out of range of those turrets. Because as soon as they get visual on me, those turrets can fire on me too. So. Okay, I'm going to end this one here. We'll play a little bit of tactics next time.